New at 11, big news from Portsmouth's top cop, Chief Renato Prince, held a community forum tonight. He discussed the 420-ish Unity Festival, crime reduction tactics, and the introduction of gunshot detection technology. Angelique Garantok was there. The latest statistics from Portsmouth Police show a rise in violent crime citywide by 39%. Chief Renato Prince believes that number fails to recognize some of their strides. Um, I think our picture is getting better, um, even though our numbers right now are not, you know, where I want them at, but that's going to come. Prince says his force is carrying out several initiatives to engage with the community, focus patrols on areas prone to crime, and team up with federal and local law enforcement partners. The chief outlines the rollout of a federally funded Project Safe Neighborhood, along with another program. I've also rolled that over into an Operation Ceasefire, which is a call-in of the 2% of our population that we know is giving us 90% of our problems. He explains that come June, the department will start interacting with known troublemakers. The goal is to offer them alternative ways of life, including education and employment opportunities. Can we save everybody? No, but we can try. Portsmouth police are also going to try new costly technology within pockets of the city. After months of expressing interest, Chief Prince says the process is in motion to secure ShotSpotter. People will know that there is a price for pulling the trigger in Portsmouth. The gunshot detection system is already in place within certain areas of neighboring Virginia Beach and Newport News. If we're getting that notification in, say, 30 seconds, that's a game changer. Chief Prince touts it as a force multiplier and a potentially life-saving tool for the victims. It's not clear yet when or where it will be installed. In Portsmouth, Angelique Aaron Talk, 13 News Now. During the forum, Chief Prince also touched on the 420-ish Unity Festival. He said he considers it a success. He also cleared up rumors about a shooting at the event. He said someone got shot in the arm about two blocks away, not on festival grounds.